Hi there, everyone. It's meteorologist Terry Swales. And an interesting weather pattern coming up here this week as we warm things up and then turn sharply colder later on in the week. And between all that, even the chance of a few snow showers that could change to snow showers later on this week. So let's take a look at our future track here. And you can see some light showers across northeastern Iowa and northwestern Illinois. This is at 6 o'clock as some of that warmer air starts to punch towards us. And so that's what's known as the warm front. And tomorrow that continues to move north up into Minnesota and Wisconsin. And it will take the precipitation with it here after midnight tonight. Although it will probably leave quite a few clouds around eastern Iowa and western Illinois through the nighttime hours. But the good news is temperatures will not fall tonight. Reading should hold pretty steady right around 40 degrees. Then as we go into your Tuesday, south winds begin to blow around here as the storm gets better organized to our northwest and the temperatures are expected to respond accordingly. And by afternoon, readings should be in the 50s in most locations and way down in southeastern Iowa and west central Illinois, a few spots getting close to 60. So again, with clouds, not going to be the prettiest of days, but at least the temperatures will be much warmer. To the northwest of us, you can see rain and snow in Minnesota and northwestern Wisconsin. That storm, as it moves east, will drag an Arctic cold front into the area on Wednesday. And by Wednesday afternoon, falling temperatures and strong winds are expected. And come Friday, temperatures won't be getting out of the teens for high temps with a brisk wind to go along with that. So tonight's forecast does call for some clouds around and maybe an early shower. After that, steady temperatures under mostly cloudy skies and 39 for your low. Then for tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies with warmer temperatures with south to southeast winds at 10 to 18. We're shooting for a high temperature of 55 degrees.